Hey guys, John here. Uh, two things I wanted to talk about. First thing I wanted to talk about is the Pixel 2 XL um, screen burn-in or image retention. And also I wanted to show you guys which wireless headsets or earbuds I'm using with my new Pixel 2 XL since it doesn't have a headphone jack. So first let's talk about the phone. Um, I can't exactly show you the phone because I'm recording from it. So let me know what you guys think about this video. I'm shooting this video in 4K and I wanted to see your input. Um, so let's talk about the issues with the, with the burn-in or image retention. Now I have noticed that I do have some burn-in uh, at the bottom of the screen around the uh, the, the buttons and so it's not that bad it's not too bad it's not exactly noticeable so you won't notice it unless you're looking for it and unless the screen is at a hundred percent brightness that's when you might notice it in some YouTube videos that have light backgrounds or are bright um, in darker videos or if you don't put the or if you don't put your phone at a hundred percent brightness then it shouldn't really be a problem um, now is it full screen burn-in or is it some image retention? I tried to test it out and what I did is I just opened a gray image because that's what apparently you have to do to see it and I left it overnight so that when I woke up and the image was open um, I wanted to see if the burn-in, if it was burn-in or image retention. Now I think part of it is burn-in. I do have burn-in and that's given. It's not bad. It's not noticeable. But also part of it is image retention because I realized after some period of time of not using the phone and I just turn it on, like I told you, I left it overnight with a great image, the um, it faded off. So now, to be honest, is it a big deal? No, not really. Is it noticeable? If you're looking for it, you're going to find it. If you're not looking for it, then you're not going to find it. It's not going to ruin your experience with the phone. So I've had this phone for um, over a week, about uh, nine days, I think. And it has not at all, you know, broken a deal for me at all. Um, and that's just me. Some people are going to be upset about it. It's all about preference. I prefer to use this phone or the other phones because of the experience, the software experience. Uh, another thing, Google pushed out an update that fades out these buttons. So that's a pretty cool option. And what else did they do? Oh, and they added a saturated option for the uh, display colors and I actually like it. It's not as saturated as Samsung phones. Um, it's a little less. So I like it. I changed it to the saturation, saturated mode and I'm going to leave it like that for a while. Now let's talk about earbuds. Uh, right here I have Jam Ultra earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds. Um, these are truly wireless, no wires at all. And these are what I use with my Pixel 2 XL. Uh, being that they didn't come with earbuds and that it doesn't have a headphone jack. Now granted I do have some really amazing b and headphones and um, some other headphones that, you know, I would love to use, but, you know, I, I got sick and tired of, for example, if I go to the gym or if I'm jogging or something and the wire is smacking me in the face. So I've been on the lookout for some wireless headphones. Now I have the uh, Jaybirds, the Jaybird X2s, and those were great, but I've always had issues with connectivity. They would disconnect for some reason, or like if my phone is in my pocket, they disconnect for some reason. It didn't make sense to me. Paying a high price for those headphones, they shouldn't disconnect. I got these from uh, Best Buy for a hundred dollars, uh, so it's 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 pretty good. It's decent, and this is the box for it. So the the uh, printed box matches the actual casing or um, of the headphones, and it says back here wireless freedom, no wires, up to three hours. Playtime. I haven't really tested that because once I'm done with them, I put it into this, which charges, and that says more than 30 hours with the case. Um, I, I really don't know. I, I've never had an issue with it. I've only charged it once since I've bought it, and I've had it for well over a month. Uh, what else? Sweat resistant, hands free calling, uh, charges your phone. Yeah. So. 
hands-free calling. That was the Bluetooth calling on this. Great. No, not really. Um, I've, people have complained that they can't hear me very well. So I just basically take them off and I use the phone to my face, which still isn't a deal breaker being that these are truly wireless earbuds and they are, in my opinion, the best sounding truly wireless earbuds. So to show you how big the, th um, the casing is it's not that big and it's not that heavy it fits in your pocket like any portable battery on this side you have a flap uh, if i can get it to open come on there we go no there we go uh you have an output to charge your phone and an input to charge the battery case and there's also a blue light here, but you can't see it because when, when the headphones are charging, you'll see a blue light. Uh, these are the headphones. They fit in here with a magnetic um, uh, slit here. And basically, so they fit in here really snug. And when it's charging, you see that red light? You'll see a red light when it's charging. The other one is not charging because it's fully charged because I haven't taken them out. Uh, so you have to take them out at the same time or else they won't really sync together. So you see they're blinking blue. When they stop blinking then and they go to a solid uh, light, then they're fully synced. They're really light. You would They look heavy, but they're not heavy. And they feel good. This mesh material feels good. It is sweat resistant. Um, they feel really good and snug in the ears. They don't fall. I've never had them fall off and they sound amazing. So I'm going to play some Frank Sinatra from Pandora so you guys can hear how they sound. Hopefully it comes on the camera. All right, I'm gonna stop that now. Um, and that's the maximum volume. I, of course, I don't use them at maximum volume. I don't wanna go deaf. But they sound amazing. I mean, compared to Jaybirds, and Jaybirds are decent, right? Um, these sound amazing. So this has a button on it. Um, and I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna trigger the Google Assistant on my phone. But um, it has a my button, apologies. of course, I, I somehow triggered my Google Home. The I have no idea how I did that. Uh, I don't really use the button much. Um, I don't really use the to call use it to call anyone or anything like that. But I use them for functionality. They sound amazing and they work amazingly. And they're extremely easy to pair to your uh, phones. Now, a lot of people have had problems there's that blue light a lot of people had problems connecting it to their phones whoops and uh so my advice to you is when you connect them make sure you take them both out of the uh, slots here at the same time because one, if you take them one at a time you're going to connect one headphone and not one earphone one not not the other one so take them both at the time and let them sync to each other first and then sync it to your phone all right guys um if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what you think about this recording on the pixel 2 xl recording it in 4k and let me know what you think about these headphones if you picked up a pair let me know what you think the 99 dollars from best buy um, i'm sure they're available on amazon and other websites uh and have a great day guys peace